is National Child, Bu Child Abuse Prevention Month, and organizations on both sides of the state line are challenge challenging you to help children. Lisa Benson shows us why the need is so great. Physical and emotional abuse account for the majority of crimes against children. These children are part of your neighborhood, your church, and your child's classroom. Court appointed special advocates, better known as CASA volunteers, are trained to help hurt children. The annual Promise of Hope luncheon celebrates their commitment. I was constantly looking over my shoulder. I would make next. 17 year old Michaela Gay suffered years of abuse in her adoptive home and subsequently spent four years in foster care. The cost of volunteer assigned to her case became her lifeline. It's the commitment part of it that really helps uh, children in foster care be able to. Uh, I have just some steps towards stability. Nationwide, child abuse cases have declined. However, the greater Kansas City area has seen an increase in abuse cases over the past three years. Oftentimes, families are struggling with substance abuse or mental illness or some factors that the children are in homes that that's not a safe situation for them to remain in. Rice says volunteers play a key role in helping these children. Right now, 113 abused children in the metro are awaiting cost of volunteers who don't exist. We do not have the capacity to serve these children waiting on our waiting list. It doesn't take a special qualification to be able to work with kids, but it does take someone who has a heart for it. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News. And also this month, child advocates want new parents who can't care for their baby to know they do have a place to turn. It's called the safe haven law. In Kansas and Missouri, a baby can be surrendered up to 45 days after birth as long as the baby is unharmed. The parent doesn't have to answer any questions in the process. Safe havens in Kansas are police and fire stations and health departments. In Missouri, they are police and fire stations and maternity homes and pregnant resource centers. The baby must be given to someone on duty. Nobody likes to think that uh, a, a parent would ever abandon a newborn, but sometimes a person would find themselves in a desperate situation, perhaps, and uh, be looking for an alternative. You might remember last year when students discovered a baby's body in a cave near the University of Central Missouri. These are the kinds of cases the safe haven law is designed to prevent. If you need help, you can always call the United Way helpline at 211.